Hey guys, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to deploy third-party patches using SCCM with Avanti plugin. So I, my previous video, I demonstrated how to install Avanti plugin and configure it. So in this video, I'm going to through, go through the installation or the, the deployment. So now let's get started. <clears throat> I'm <clears throat> going to go to my um, administ uh, SCCM console here, and under software library, you want to go to Avanti patch, and just say if you want to um, deploy, just say Firefox, I'm going to type in, you can filter by publisher. There's a lot of data to load, so it's trying to load right now. Um, it's going to take a few seconds. So you can filter by by a vendor. Um, just say Chrome. You can just type in Chrome or Adobe. You can just type in Chrome, Adobe, and um, all these products will come up. So for example, I want to search for you can do a new composite filter or you can just type in search here. I'm going to search for Firefox. Hit enter. So everything related to Firefox comes up. And if you look at all these tabs here, there's a um, bulletin, severity, important title, this title of the um, updates, the vendor, products, language, create, publish. So in order to deploy any of these uh, updates, first of all, you need to publish. As you can see here, they're not been published yet. So I'm going to do that now. Um, you can do, you can select multiple updates at once. So now I'm going to do just the English language. I'm going to click, check the box here. Once you have the box check, or you can do um, checks each box if you want multiple updates. I'm going to check just English only. And status update status is nothing there. It's blank. Matter data only superseded. It's not been superseded. Classification, security updates, and then the download size. So since it's highlighted, I'm going to click on publish right here on the top. On the top ribbon, click on publish. And you get this window so you can schedule the publish or you can do it now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it now and then there's options here run application test offline you can publish metadata only or you can do accept all metadata updates in the catalog you recommend it to do this one here and if this is the first time you are updating or publishing Firefox products. I don't recommend to run this. I don't recommend to check this box here. This box is only if you publish this products before. So I'm not going to check this box. Um, and this option here, it's allow you to create software update groups, or I'm sorry, add to the existing software update groups or do not add to software date groups. You can add to an existing and you can add to the new one. This is it for now. Um, log on users, different users, you can use different uh, schedules, tasks to run. So I'm going to, this is manual run, so I'm going to click on log on as users and then click OK. As you can see, the status is changed to schedule. 
And if you look at the log files, um, the log files should be under users and then your login name, Avanti patch auto publish. And if you scroll down, you should see it's being up, uh, being synchronized. So package list input files, the schedule, auto publish. So it's going to take a few minutes. Um, look like it has started. So for now, um, since it's already st it's started and uh, it's going to take a few minutes, I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back. As you can see here, sorry, um, Firefox is beginning to uh, synchronize. It's all the Firefox uh, products here. Downloading the EXE. So yeah, let me pause the video and we'll come back. All right, look like Firefox has been published. As you can see, it's 100% successfully published Firefox 71.64 or x64. As you can see, I get a warning here. This vendor product is not configured for synchronization. So what it is, is you have to go into administration and then you want to go into site configuration under sites. You want to right click on your site servers. Go to site components and software update point. You want to go to products and you want to look for Firefox. You want to make sure you check Firefox. Where is Firefox? Okay, that's forefront. I don't see Firefox here yet. Um, I probably have to sync first. Let's give that a try. We're going to sync server updates. Let's go mon monitoring. Let's look at the logs. It started to sync. So once you publish and um, you have to run a sync from software updates. So it is syncing. It's going to take a few minutes to complete. I'm going to pause the video again and welcome back. All right, look like the um, syncing has completed. As you can see here, done syncing. So now let's go into the monitor. And as you can see, it's all green. Let's go back to administration. Click on site configuration, site, and then the primary site, right click. Go to site components, software distribution point, I'm sorry, software update point. And then you want to go to products. Let's look for Firefox. Hopefully it's going to show up. There it is. So Firefox is part of the um, WSUS now. I'm going to check that box and I'm going to do another sync. It's not going to show up. Um, you have to force another sync. Firefox. So you only have to do this for um, initials um, when you try to add um, the vendor for the very first time. So I'm going to run a sync again. Click yes. Let's monitor. Look at the logs.
so it hasn't started. Um, take a few minutes. There it goes. It started. Let's go to let's go to software update synchronization again. Refresh. So it has been syncing. Again, it's going to take a few minutes. Um, for now, I'm going to pause the video. All right, look like uh, syncing has completed or almost completed. Let's take a look here. Refresh. There it is. And now, let's look at the software library. And under all software updates, let's search for Firefox. Firefox. There it is. Firefox appear here. So the process to deploy this update is the same as deploying Microsoft updates. So you just have to right click, create a software update or add it to software update group and download and then deploy. It's the same process. So I'm sure you guys know how to do that. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and have a great day.